Now that you've mastered the graphical tools, it's time to unlock the power of the command line. This is your rapid review of Objective 1.5, Microsoft Command Line Tools. First, if you ever need help, just type help to see a list of commands, or type a command followed by slash question mark for specific instructions. And remember, many of these tools require an elevated prompt, meaning you must run the command prompt as an administrator. Let's start with navigation. To see a list of files and folders, use dir. Think of it as opening a file cabinet drawer. To move between folders, use cd, which is like walking from one room to another. To create a new folder, use md or mkdir. And to remove one, use rmdir. For copying files, robocopy is the robust copy tool. It's like a high-tech mover that can handle huge files and automatically retry if the network drops. Next, disk management. ChickDisk checks your disk's file system for errors. Use the slash F switch to fix any errors it finds, and slash R to also scan for and recover data from bad sectors. To prepare a new partition, you can use format. And for advanced tasks, like creating or deleting partitions from the command line, use the powerful disk part utility. Now for the crucial network troubleshooting tools. ipconfig shows your IP address, subnet mask, and gateway. Use ipconfig slash all to see even more details, like your MAC address and DNS servers. Ping is your go-to tool to test basic connectivity to another device. Netstat, or Network Statistics, shows all active connections. Use netstat-a to see all connections and netstat-b to see which program or binary created the connection. This one requires an elevated prompt. NSLOOKUP lets you query a DNS server to find the IP address for a name. TRACERT traces the route, showing you every single router hop a packet takes to reach its destination. And PATHPING is even better. It combines PING and TRACERT to test the connection quality at every single hop along the path. For OS management and information, HOSTNAME tells you the computer's name and Winver shows you the exact Windows version. Who Am I tells you the user you're currently logged in as, very useful for checking permissions. GP Update forces a group policy update to apply new settings immediately, and GP Result shows you which policies are currently applied to your user and computer. Finally, the System File Scanner, or SFC. If you suspect a core Windows file has been corrupted by malware or a bad update, run SFC slash scan now. It will scan all protected system files and repair any it finds that are damaged. That covers the critical details for this objective. To recap, for navigation, use dir to look and cd to move. For disk health, use chick disk slash f to fix file system errors. For network diagnostics, start with ping for connectivity, IP config for your own settings, and tracer or path ping to analyze the route. To see which program is making a network connection, use netstat b from an elevated prompt. To manage group policy, use GP update to force changes and GP result to see what's applied. And to repair corrupted Windows system files, your go-to command is SFC slash scan now.